reindeers are better than people. Sven, don't you think that's true? Yeah, people would beat you and curse you and cheat you. Everyone nothing's bad except you. Hey boy and welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlotte if you're new here and today we are Viking braiding it because we are heading to the north. We are heading to Lapland in Finland. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you some do's and don'ts when you paint with acrylics. So, let's go. So, this painting is made on a 300 GSM paper. That means it's quite thick, it's mixed media paper. And I recommend not to go any lighter than 300 if you're painting with acrylics because the paper will not dry very evenly, it will be a bit bulky. So don't go any lower than 300 when painting with acrylics. Then moving onwards to the paints, I'm using Winsor & Newton. I do have a link in the description as well if you want to check it out if you're looking for new paints. And over here I'm making quite a few layers as you can see of the paint of the acrylic paint. So I go from dark blue to purple to very light lavender purple. I blend it in with a dry brush to get this kind of ombre effect. So it, it, there's no strict lines where the purple begins or where the blue ends. And then I'm using the same shades down on the snow and you can see that I added quite a lot of more white to it. But to get a little bit of a reflection from the sky. I chose to continue with the same type of purple and light lavender and blue shades on the snow. And here again you will see that I'm using quite a few layers, blending it in here and there. And when you paint on paper with acrylics it tends to dry quite quickly. So if you want to get that kind of nice smooth blend you have to work quite quickly between the layers. And then I'm slowly adding more and more to the background as well. And try to get as even as possible. I'm painting shades in snow. I chose a light blue shade instead of grey. I thought it would look a bit cooler, a bit colder. Since we are up in the north, Northern Finland, Lapland. That's where we used to go every year with my family. We'd travel there and go skiing. So I've got beautiful snowy memories from this area in Finland. And that is why I wanted to paint that. And since Christmas is coming up, I thought some of you would like to paint a snowy landscape as well with reindeers. So that is why I thought I'll upload this one. Now I'm adding a black cover all over the reindeer to make it into a silhouette. And I think that makes quite a nice contrast against the very light, almost white snow. And you know in Lapland in Finland these reindeers actually run around wild. So if you ever go there skiing or maybe you've been already, you would have seen them running around. And usually there's more than one. They move in bigger groups. And to those of you who doubt Santa, I can confirm that he is real and you can visit him all year round in Finland, in Lapland. He has a house there, he's got reindeers, live reindeers on the yard and he's sitting inside the house and you can go inside and chat with him. So yes, check that out as well if you ever go to Northern Finland, Lapland. And another thing very common in that area and actually in the whole of Finland are pine trees. So I thought I'll add some pine trees here in the background and I guess that's a bit Christmassy as well since we do tend to use them for Christmas decorations. And to those of you who don't know, I do come from Finland. I was born in Finland. I live in London at the moment. But I grew up in Finland. I moved here how long ago? It's gonna be nine years in January now. But yes, moving onwards with the painting. Here you can see that I'm adding some more layers to the snow now and I'm going even further in the background. And I do think that this part made a massive change to the whole painting. 
and the whole structure of the painting. So even though it doesn't look perfect in the beginning, remember to add more layers and keep going. Don't give up too easily because it often looks a bit funny in the beginning and then you add more and more and slowly it starts to look more realistic. So don't give up with just one layer. Here I'm adding a little bit of snow on the antlers and the ears. And I added some snow to the pine tree as well. And you can see the stars in the background are just white little dots. And then I made some circles as well to make the bigger ones are meant to be snowflakes. I have a question to my Canadian friends here. I know at least three of my friends here on YouTube are Canadian. Joni and Lidi and Catherine Christina, you're in Canada as well, right? So my question is, do you guys have reindeers up there? Because I know that you're more or less on the same, same height as Finland. So I know you get snow sometimes as well and you have northern lights as well. So I was very curious to see, do you guys have reindeers? You can find them in other Nordic countries as well. You can find them in Lapland on the Swedish side and also on the Norwegian side. Here I'm adding a little bit more purple to the moon because it started to look a little bit like a massive snowball that was stuck on the antler. So I wanted to make it look a little bit more like a moon and to go back in the back background instead of being stuck on the antler. I don't know if I succeed or not. Does it look like a massive snowball on the antler? Maybe a little bit. Anyways, now I'm adding even more snow to the background. And I think again that this was one of the things that made this painting nicer. So I'm moving the horizon a little bit higher and then the snowflakes look more like snow and the horizon is kind of disappearing towards the background. And then I decided to add some mountains because in Lapland we got a few mountains where you can go skiing. And I'm doing this in light blue and then I'm later gonna add some white highlights to the mountains to make it look like the moon is shining down over these hills and mountains. And again, as mentioned before, I am now also doing layer painting. It doesn't look great just with one, just with one layer. I'm just slowly adding more and more until I get the effect that I think looks nice. So if you're not happy with how it looks, just add another layer until you get the kind of effect you like. Another mistake that we often do when we use acrylic is we add too much water. And I've done that in the past as well. I think it's okay when you're using paper because the paper will still hold on to the pigments. But when you paint on canvas, I would recommend to not add water, maybe a little bit in the brush and maybe to small details if you want to make something a bit more transparent. But for the background and everything, it's better not to add too much water because it holds on to, to the pigments better. And when it dries in a few years time, you want your, your paintings to last, right? So in a few years time, it won't crack. There is this possibility of cracking if you add too much water. Also, if you're painting on paper, do use painter's tape around the edges because it leaves this really nice smooth crispy line like a little frame around your picture and just i think it looks very nice and professional that way well thank you so much for watching all the way till the end i do appreciate every single one of you and you and you and you and you and if you're new here, do subscribe to my channel. I love having you here and I hope to see you in my next video. So stay tuned. Hada bada. Hey do. Uh, yay.